in this tutorial i'll be going through with you midd stock and i'll just copy that i'll paste that in google and write stock besides it and um, it's middle by corp and uh, the company name and uh, market cap is in billions which is a big size company there's no dividend yield dividend yield means extra money so if the company has um, uh, dividend yield that means if they are paying dividend that means that they have after paying their creditors loans liabilities they still have money left that which they pay as dividend and uh, this company don't have is not paying dividend this means maybe they don't have extra money um, after paying their costs and everything they don't have any money left that they decide not to pay the dividend uh, if some company pays a dividend that's a positive sign which means they're doing very good financially but if uh, the company is not paying dividend, uh, it could be they are not doing financially good or um, there are many firms that um, are doing very good financially but they decide not to pay dividends. May maybe they are investing uh, the money in the company. Uh, you know, it's their choice. So it's just a factor to look at. Uh, it's founded in 1888. You can just go to Wikipedia and you can just search the box here which is very important. And um, well here it's not written normally the right found it here so you can just go through I mean the Wikipedia yourself um, and you can just go through it and see where found it is written and uh, stuff like that so it's written founded by company history go to company history first of all you go to the box if you can't find it there then you just go to company history and then you can see found it in 1888 and um, now I will just copy this exactly from Google and I will paste it here and see what the um, what my what the employees working there think about the firm so first of all I look at indeed there are only four reviews which is not a lot to judge a company but it's still four stars which is brilliant but the reviews are not enough to um, judge the company so what I'll do is I'll go to Glassdoor and uh, I can see 24 reviews it's more than in indeed uh, it's 3.4 star it's above average which is good but 24 reviews is not enough as well it's not uh, enough to judge a firm if I go to Yahoo Finance and I want to see the executives and I want to see their salaries I can just see it by searching there and go to profile and I can see the sector industrials industries diversified industrials I can see the number of employees and I can see the five executives I can see their title and their pay but only one executive pay is not shown who is the chief financial officer it's not applicable you can search why it's not shown you can search maybe some other website has covered that because the more transparent the more information we have about the company the more trust it's built the more transparent it is and uh, let's look at um, uh, let's look at just your patent and see if it has any patents and uh, I will just I've left the link in the search bar you just need to go there you just need to click there and uh, you know and if you have any questions please do ask um, I will just copy that the whole thing and paste it in Google and search that and um, the part I'm interested in is uh, I'm not interested in inventor because these are people who have invented the patent but they uh, don't have the full rights so I'm only interested in applicant or assignee so we can see that in 2013 they have patent 2000 um, that's not okay so make sure you search for the exact name and um, so this is the exact name so 2001 okay then 2006 then 2013 2017 which is a recent patent which is brilliant because we need to look if they have recent patents 17 18 19 because they might be innovating when they started but then they might stop innovating so we need to know if they have recent patents because if they have recent patents that means they're still um, they're still relevant in the competition they are competitive they have the mode they have competitive edge and uh, they have something different than their competitors so patents are very important to survive in the competition so uh, you can just go through yourself as well and uh, so that's really good 
and uh, lastly i want to go to macro trends this is a website that uh, have very important ratios and um, you can just click to price ratio and price book ratio and paste in the symbol and um, i have to middle buy yeah that's the one so that's the one yeah so make sure the name matches now this website has a lot of data this is a brilliant website but it has a lot of data so it takes time to load so you so you need to be patient with it but it's very helpful and i love this website for its ratios i don't need to you don't need to calculate and ratios you don't need to be good at ratios you just uh, you know it's calculated for you and uh, it's brilliant but you know you need to be patient about it so i'm just gonna look at price book ratio for this firm right now okay so i'll explain briefly for people who are new so book value is the real price real worth of the share stock price is the market price if the book value is one dollars and stock price is two dollars that means you're paying two dollars to buy something that is one dollar worth you are buying something expensive price to book ratio if the ratio is less than one that means that the stock is very at discount it's cheap it's undervalued and it's very cheap stock um, so it, I, it's ideal to buy that time if it's one that means that the book value and the stock price is same so you are not buying an expensive stock which is good you're buying it for the real value if the number is more than one then you're buying an expensive stock the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now it's 4.44 it's it, this means it's four times nearly four and a half times more expensive to buy the stock so person who buys right now will be paying four and a half times more money and if I see in 2011 it's 2.77 which means that somebody who bought that time paid nearly 2.77 times more money to buy the stock and if I just show you something if you go vertically up you can see somebody who bought the stock in in um, September 2011 they paid $23 to buy something that was only $8 worth so it was very expensive they bought it expensive but if you see that in 2006 if somebody bought in 2006 they paid 11 times 11 and a half times more they bought the stock for $13 or nearly $14 and they bought that for $14 which was only worth $1.2 so they paid a lot of money so it was most expensive in 2006 11 times 11 and a half times right now it's four and a half times more expensive so it's much cheaper than 2006 but still it's expensive right now let's look at other ratio current ratio um, I go to current ratio and I'll explain it briefly if the current ratio is less than one that means the stock is very dangerous it's not secure it's very dangerous to buy if the current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means the stock is safe to buy it has a good margin of safety it's ideal to buy and it's very safe so look for 1.5 or more than that please ask me any questions you want i would love to answer and uh, you know if you're stuck somewhere if you can't understand anything from here or if you want to ask something else about stocks please do ask Okay, so I'm looking at 1.5 or more than it's more than 1.5, which is brilliant. Let's look at previous consistency. So we want to see if it has ever been below 1.5. 
so yes in 2012 it has been below 1.5 and uh, so since 2012 june up till now which is nearly i would say seven years since seven years consistently it has been above 1.5 it has been a very safe stock there has been a good margin of safety since seven years consistently which is a good period of time to count and only just for few months i would say it has been below 1.5 and then previously again it's above 1.5 and then it's fluctuating actually but since seven years consistently recent seven years so seven years is a good period of time to judge something i'll go to debt equity debt equity ratio tells me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity we are looking for a ratio 0.5 or less than that if it's 0.5 or less than that that means that the stock is very secure and it's good to invest right now it's a lot more than 0.5 okay right now it's 1.1 it's a lot more than 0.5 it's very dangerous stock in terms of because it ha it has you can see above it has more debt than equity so that is 1.89 and equity is 1.73 which is very dangerous and we'll see the previous trends that has it ever been below 0.5 let's have a look yes so since 2013 up till now um, so it's been like six years since recent six years it has been a very dangerous stock so it is very dangerous because it has never been below 0.5 or 0.5 so it has been very dangerous in six years so I would say this is a dangerous stock it's very risky stock let's go to return on equity return on equity should ideally be 8% or more than that okay it's more than eight percent that's brilliant let's look at the previous trends that has it ever been below eight percent since 2005 up till now it has never been below eight percent and um, so it's brilliant so that's brilliant